Leaked iPhone 8 official schematics revealed that most rumors are actually taking shape. The whole deal of the Microsoft speaker continues to grow into a possibility, and Samsung and LG have soared through their quarter results unbelievably. I'm Jaime Rivera, and if I were only capable of leaving the gym this thin after a workout, I would be there all day. This is Pocket Now Daily. The official news today begin with the official announcement should we say, of dates and everything of the BlackBerry Key 1. We have already published our unboxing. I have actually been using the phone for the last couple of days, and that's the phone that I tweeted about the fact that you just can't kill that battery. I actually intentionally listened to a few podcasts with the screen on and everything. The battery just wouldn't budge. I so far, things are going well. Those of you interested, well, the phone will be available for pre-order in certain carriers on May 18th, available on May 31st. You can learn more in the description. Other official news come from LG as the company has posted quarter results, and these are actually not bad. The company continues to lose money, but it's nearly cut its losses in half, more than half actually, up to the point where the company is actually posting some significant profits. All of this has to do with the G6, by the way. We praise the phone, and it seems that consumers have as well. Now, the company that's surprising everyone is Samsung. It predicted that it would break all its records, and it nearly did. So much so that this is actually significant because all these quarter results have nothing to do with the Galaxy S8. Those results will be until next quarter. So bear this, the company is not just posting the amazing profits and revenue, but we're talking about a 48% growth in revenue. And we're trying to figure out exactly what the company has done during that period of time because, if anything, what it had to do was adopt the cost of the Galaxy Note 7. So anyways, we'll keep you posted as we learn more. Now, for those of you wondering if we are getting a competitor for Alexa and the Amazon Echo from Microsoft, it seems that it's actually happening. That Cortana speaker is apparently a Harman Kardon Invoke speaker. Um, that's actually the name and the branding. The thing is, we were supposed to get this earlier, apparently. It might not even have it on May 2nd, but instead on May 10th for Build's conference from Microsoft. So we're not exactly sure what it'll do differently, but Build is actually the best platform to show it off, so yeah. And finally, the very interesting news that they have to do with more iPhone 8 schematics. This time, apparently, these are the official ones. I mean, they look like engineering schematics up to the dot. Two very interesting things. Those of you that have been wondering if that vertical camera hump is happening, it seems that it will. Number two is that we do see a wireless charging coil. And this is a major deal as uh, we've been wondering exactly when Apple will adopt it and we haven't blamed Apple for not doing so, given the fact that very few people care about wireless charging. But anyways, it leads me to the question of the day. We've seen a lot of leaked schematics. Obviously, if this phone has wireless charging, it means the back is most likely made of glass. We've seen that vertical camera. What do you think about these designs? Does it entice you to consider the future iPhone? In my case, it actually doesn't. I think this is probably the ugliest iPhone I've ever seen, at least in schematics. But anyways, leave us a comment down below. We would love to know your opinion. Friends, you know the way it goes. If you want to get the news earlier before the video is filmed, follow us on FuckingNow.com and hit that subscribe button down below for more videos like this one. You can also follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera, or on Instagram at Jaime Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thanks so much for watching. We will see you tomorrow.